Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Luke chapter 15, where Luke wrote about Jesus telling the prodigal son story. Jesus heard some of the Pharisees and the scribes grumble. They were saying things like, this man likes to be around sinners, and he eats meals with them. Jesus spoke to them. He said, if you have 100 sheep and you lose one of them, won't you leave the 99 behind all alone in the wilderness and go look for the lost sheep? And if you find it, won't you be so happy? You would likely throw a party for your friends and neighbors. Or if you have 10 coins that were silver and you lose one of them, won't you light a lamp and search your whole house until you find it? Won't you be overjoyed if you find it? I tell you, there is more joy in heaven over one sinner that repents than over 99 righteous people who no longer need repentance. Jesus said, let me tell you a story. A man had two sons. The younger one said, Father, you are dead to me. Give me my share of the inheritance now. Instead of refusing the son and kicking him out of the family, the father gave him what he asked for. The son took the money and went to a distant country where he lived recklessly, using drugs and prostitutes. After all of his money was gone, there was a severe famine in that land. The son was so hungry, he decided to get a job. But there weren't any jobs either. Finally, he found one feeding pigs. He longed to eat what even the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, even my father's slaves eat well, and I have nothing. I am physically and morally bankrupt. I know what I will do. I will tell my father that I repent. I will say, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Please make me like one of your slaves. So the son got up and began his journey home. Now at his home, his father had been watching for his son's return for quite some time. But today was a special day. He saw something in the distance. He knew exactly who was coming up the road. The father felt compassion and ran to meet his son. He hugged him and kissed him. The son said, Father, I've sinned against heaven and in your sight. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father told one of his slaves who ran with him, Quickly, go get my best robe, ring, and sandals, and put them on my son. Kill the fattened calf and cook it. We're having a feast. This son of mine, who was dead, has come to life again. He was lost, and now he has been found. And they began to celebrate. The older son was out in the field. When he approached the house, he heard music and dancing. He asked one of the servants about it. The servant said, your younger brother is back safe and sound. Your father is holding a celebration. But the older son became angry and he would not enter the house. The father heard about that and went out to talk with his son. The son said, father, I have been serving you for many years and I never neglected even one of your commands. But you haven't even given me a single goat to eat with my friends. But when this other son of yours came home after wasting your money with prostitutes, you killed the prized fattened calf for him. The father said, Son, you have always been with me, and everything that I have is yours. You could have had a feast with your friends any time that you wanted. But we had to celebrate. Your brother was dead, and now he lives. He was lost, and now he is found. 
The most important verses in this chapter are Luke 15, 4 through 7, which state, What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost, until he find? And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you, That likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons, which needeth no repentance. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that there is joy in heaven and all the angels rejoice when one person repents for his or her sin and turns to Jesus for salvation. God and the angels watch this miracle happen and they are glad. God wants us to see that people should not be angry, that he has compassion on people and he wants sinners to be saved. He rejoices when people with dead and lost spirits come alive and are found. Do you know someone who is rebelling against God and would be considered a prodigal son? Would you be considered a prodigal son? Turn away from the fleeting pleasures of sin. They will leave you empty, alone, and eternally dead. Turn to Jesus for salvation today. Why don't you let God find you and rescue you? There is still time. Repent for your sin and place your faith in Jesus Christ for salvation. Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross as my substitute and your substitute, and the Father raised Jesus from the dead. Jesus conquered hell and death, and his return is near. God said that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, you would be saved. Why don't you place your faith in Jesus today? And thanks for watching the Luke chapter 15 episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it with someone. If you want to join me on this long video journey, feel free to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.